In a technological age where satellites are available for intelligence gathering, why would anyone choose this option? This high altitude balloon operates at 11 miles over the sea. The lowest orbit satellites is sitting at about 62 miles. So you have here a, uh, a, an intelligence collection asset that is much closer to the ground. And so what you've got is likely is a multi-sensor package. You have a high resolution camera and you have other sensors. High altitude balloons can operate in the stratosphere, below outer space and right on the limit of fighter jets. Experts say it's not always the first place data collection systems would look before identifying a flying object. They're far cheaper than satellites to launch and run and their flight paths can be mapped out with a high degree of accuracy with today's forecasting. Obviously we can maneuver satellites, we can control them, but once the bird is up, it's up. If there's a malfunction and if you cannot bring, you know, if you're not corrected on board, you have to bring the satellite down and it's very, very expensive. And why would China in particular want to use these balloons? In the conflict, it is our intelligence assessment that the Chinese are going to deny us uh, use of space. So they will hold our space assets vulnerable and at risk. And we potentially will do the same. So they're looking for low tech uh, ways of achieving the same mission. Multiple intelligence experts have said the dual use potential of these balloons, military and civilian, could offer state actors plausible deniability when their platforms are spotted. They are trying to really embarrass us. The United States is used to us being untouchable because we're surrounded by uh, by oceans. And the Chinese are telling, uh, telling us with this particular thing, uh, no, 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 we can't touch you. So are these balloons now in vogue? My assessment is that we're going to see that use more and more, not just by China, but by other adversaries who are truly low tech, you know, Iran, North Korea. There's a lot of cooperation between those, you know, dictatorship. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.